structure, parts, and guidelines in making a reaction paper review or critic. A reaction paper is a type of a written assignment which requires personal option and conclusion in a given article or abstract. Unlike a summary, a reaction paper should contain your own thoughts on the problem discussed in the original text. Review or Critic A critical review is the summarization and evaluation of the ideas and information in an article. Reviewing critically means thinking carefully and clearly, and taking into consideration both the strength and weakness in the material under review. They are both specialized form of writing wherein a reviewer or a reader evaluate. You should all arrange 250 to 750 words. However, you should not connect the word critic to cynicism to pessimism. First, introduction, 5%. Title of a literature, writer's name, thesis statement. Second, summary, 10%. Object or purpose, methods, use, findings, claims, ideas, or writing messages. Third, review or critic, 75%. Correctness of procedures in presenting the work. Theoretical soundness, coherence of ideas, sufficient of information. Others' point of view towards the ideas. 4. Conclusion 10% Overall impression on the work, concerned or literary value of the reviewed text, benefits and suggestions for future research. For the other types of reviews, there is no prescribed structure but the following section are always present. First is the introduction, basic ideals, such as title, materials, director, or actors. Second, description or plot summary, essence of the plot, description of an artwork. Analysis or interpretation, discussion and analysis of the artwork. You may employ the critical approaches here, success or failure of the work. Some lines that may affect the meaning like analogies, metaphor, and other figurative languages, other related ideas on the world or work. Fourth, conclusion or evaluation, reinforcement of main assessment, comparison to other similar work, recommendation of the material, if you want. Guidelines in writing a reaction paper, review, or critic. Number 1. For articles and journals. First, review the work carefully to get the main topic or the concept presented, then review some arguments or message. Second, relate the content to what you already know about the topic. This will make you committed to the work. Third, discuss how the literature presents the topic. Fourth, your analysis should be strong as possible to present the topic. Fifth, report the mode presentation and how it affects the overall meaning of the text. Sixth, look if the findings are adequately connect to the topic. 7. Suggest things that may help improving the next study and point out the things that the author missed. And the last one, show the agreement with the writers or creators and present an explanation for this agreement. Number 2. For artworks and other media. 
First, use speculative verb. Second, avoid spoil K events unless the figure in review, which case always add disclaimer. Third, describe the material in simple terms to help your audience visualize it. Refrain from being vague or abstract. Number three, on a general note, your reaction paper's conclusion may focus on the following ideas. First, did the work hold your interest? Second, did the work prompt you to excite you? Third, did the work prompt you to raise the question to the author? Fourth, did the work lead you to some realization? And the last one, did the work remind you of other materials that you have reviewed or listened to in the past?